Hey guys, it's Glenn, Mitchell, and Nick. Uh, we're all here today playing a Genesis game, a Genesis classic. It's by McDonald's Corporation and Treasure. <laughs> oh, no. it's a classic, certified <laughs> classic. Yes, this oh, is I... this is Ronald McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure. <laughs> Dang it, Glenn! Now I want to go to this freaking McDonald's and get some nuggets. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is this is made by Treasure, uh, who did Gunstar Heroes. Uh, they also made this. <laughs> so one day, as Ron McDonald was walking along, he found a small piece of paper under a big tree. Wow. What's this? Looks like a treasure map. Looks like a piece of junk. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can call it a treasure map. It's just like a few hills and some clouds. Oh, this is treasure. And then M, <laughs> but what treasure. if it's Treasure McDonald, dude? What, uh oh, dude? there's three bad guys oh. that each have a piece of the map that Ronald's going after. Okay, Ronald set up a smile. Let's go on a treasure hunt. <laughs> and I so, <laughs> and so, if a piece of the map in hand, here we go. We're going to the magical forest. Uh, so yeah, this this game. Um, it's weird because it's it's a licensed game and obviously it's about McDonald's, uh, but it's not it's not too bad for a licensed game. Uh, it, and I definitely think uh, Treasure being the developer uh, helped with that. So McDonald or uh, excuse me, Ronald McDonald, uh, his move set <laughs> is he can jump, uh, he can shoot some magic powder out, and then he has a scarf that can grab onto objects above him. That's that classic Ronald McDonald. Yeah, well, I think it's like you know, like the you know, like when clowns they pull out the thing, like the trail of scarves. Yeah, that's what oh. that's supposed to be. Um, but it's strange because yeah, that's not that's not something that you ever see with Ronald McDonald. It's kind of like a more of a generic clown. <laughs> yeah, so just a bunch of dudes in Japan had to come up with a move set for Ronald McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And uh, we're going to see a whole bunch of treasure-esque things here, like this giant uh, tree that just kind of fell out of the ceiling. Uh, hey, is that a Furby or something? What is that? <laughs> no, there's, there's uh, no Furbies here. These all look kind of like Furbies. I mean, evil creatures is what they are. Exactly. Some um, foul beasts that whoop. don't deserve to live another day on this earth. <laughs> So there's different power-ups. There's like uh, some flowers that we're getting. There's gems. Uh, the gems are your actual health. Every single time you collect two uh, yellow flowers, I believe it is, uh, you gain an extra piece of health. If you get three white flowers, though, then that's, that's also a piece of health. So there's different currencies in this McDonald's world um, that you have to pay attention to. Uh, but yeah, so we're... there's a lot going on. But where, where are the where are the nuggets? Where are the fries? <laughs> well, we're gonna see some Where's friends. Grimace? Yeah, we're gonna see some friends as we go through here. I want to grab. Oh. Those. Where's my man hamburger, dude? <laughs> that moon looks very similar to the. Uh, uh, oh, Mac tonight. Yeah, but I think this predates that. You just needs to put some shades on. <laughs> That scarf, you have to be, like, weirdly specific with where you're jumping for that. Oh, that jumped. That dropped a bunch of health. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that scarf is a precision instrument. Ronald's jumping. Yeah, Ronald's jumping animation is so, like, silly. Like, it's just... I don't know. It's wacky. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's... He like puts his, it's like he puts his like pelvis out forward and his legs out to the sides and back just a little bit too much. I for one <laughs> think he has excellent posture. Okay, oh. so we're in the shop uh, and it's weird because Ronald runs the shop. Um, He's buying from himself. Exactly. So this is what you use the gold for. 
I recommend buying the balloons. The balloons are, uh, they essentially let you, um, if you fall into a pit, you, you float back up. It's pretty similar to like, um, what is it, beat in the Mega Man NES games. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I would I recommend just getting that. Also, I'm gonna I'm gonna use uh, rewind right there. <laughs> Did we rewind the previous hit. Oh. Yeah, hold on. Actually, crouch I crouch again. Crouch. Yeah. <laughs> it's a strange crouch. It's a very goofy crouch. Break your back, crouch. So something I did want to talk about. Um, dang it, the, the this part's kind of tricky. Oh, wow. um, how did it, you fill through that? Yeah. So something I want to talk about uh, is the like my inputs are being dropped. It's kind of weird. Um, the Ronald McDonald VHS tapes. Oh, yeah. Whoa, that sounds like a, a, a trial <laughs> evidence. Richard, do you want to talk about those? Um, so the Wacky Adventures of the Ronald McDonald is a um a series of VHS uh, tapes that you could buy from McDonald's while you're going through the drive-through or whatever. Yeah, and they were like only a dollar, I think. Yeah, they were really cheap. I mean, obviously, it was just like but, a commercial um, for VHS. <laughs> wow, it probably cost a dollar to make those. Oh, I'm sure it cost uh, more than a dollar. Like I said, it was it was essentially marketing material, more or less. Yeah, wow. but um, just like this but game, they were like what, like thirty minute cartoons, or mm -hmm. maybe twenty two minutes of of just yeah, Ronald McDonald and Co up to all sorts of wacky antics. Right, and I believe it was animated like, by the same company who did, like, Rugrats, right? I'd believe it. It definitely looks like it. Oh. But they, they, um... It's just, like, there's, like, musical numbers, and there's, like... it's All of them start with, like, a live-action segment. Mm -hmm. And the live-action segment is is strange there's a really scary dog character <laughs> during that part yep but like it was just like an okay cartoon it was just kind of weird it was just about mcdonald's i mean it wasn't really about mcdonald's was the thing like the, the characters mean, weren't really McDonald's characters right like yeah. just like this game isn't really about mcdonald's besides the fact that it has ronald mcdonald in it um yeah, I mean they they weren't ever like eating at McDonald's or anything, you know. I mean the 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 live action segments did take place at like one of those play places or whatever, you know, like those obstacle well, courses. Well, I think it's supposed to be. It's, I thought it was just supposed to be around McDonald's house. Right, he but I mean it looked it of, looked he like lives a, in some zany McDonald's play place penthouse. <laughs> I mean, it kind of looked. It kind of <laughs> had that look. <laughs> Yeah. And tell us, was like, there like a jacuzzi tub in the background? The, the yeah. pla jacuzzi tub filled with, you know, those plastic balls. <laughs> yeah, but they're like melting. Yeah. Something like that. It was just, it was very odd, but like, it, was, like, it wasn't bad. <laughs> it was just branded material. Yeah. And we had one. Oh, so Sorry, Fred. I was gonna say like they made like I don't know like five of them right, and like we basically full. like we have all of them except for one I think I think we might be missing one. Well, I don't actually yeah, I don't know have... where they're at anymore. <laughs> um, they're probably around here somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, uh, we had one where they they go back in time. <laughs> I remember that one. Uh, there's, uh, there's one where they get trapped in, like, a maze from this, like, evil guy, and then the, he also, like, turns them into kids. It's, like, a weird thing. <laughs> it always kind of weirded me out as a kid, but that was one of them. I think one of them, they go to space. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then 
Um, I don't remember, there was at least one other scenario that I recall. Yeah, Ronald that's... goes to college. Uh... Anything school related, actually? That might. No. I, I think they just want. They don't want McDonald's. To... At that point in time, they don't want McDonald's to be related to education. They want it to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> What's, what's not fun about learning? I don't know. It's just kind of in the name, right? What, Can't what get is the fun about learning? Uh, so there is one I... door that Tytha I'm really excited to get to once we reach it. <laughs> just because I'm, I'm curious to see you guys' reaction. <laughs> a door? Yeah, there's a door type. A door. Like we keep We keep running into the shop doors. But there's a different type of door that we have not seen yet. Okay. Will we be running to that sooner than later? I hope or so, what? yeah. Are the doors just random? I, I think they're fixed. I could be wrong, though. Oop. But I, I thought I remember coming across one pretty early on. Uh, but we're almost to the next world. I'm trying to think of all the characters that were in the show, because I mean, there's obviously Ronald and Grimace and the Hamburglar. Mm -hmm. Um, there was Birdie. I it, it was a character. I'm pretty sure. Um, speaking of were... characters. Oh, there he is, Hamburglar. Am I is. ever glad to see you? Oh, you want two That's of my magic jewels? <laughs> you'll say you'll give oh. me a hint for the jewels? Really? Okay, we'll give him the jewels. You say the enemy bosses will try to steal my magic jewels? Oh, I can attack them while they're eating okay. the jewels? Really? <laughs> Thanks, Hamburglar. I'll give it my best shot. Yeah, this is we a perfectly... To give up some of your life for... <laughs> I hate to lay down your money for that. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand what that place is supposed to don't be. Don't touch. <laughs> like, I, yeah, I don't I don't get that. Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's a, don't touch, dude. That's his, that's his Valentine's oh. Day gift. He stole it. I don't know what this fish thing is supposed to be either. Treasure definitely did the, their own the, thing with this game. Uh, I was going to say, the only, the only treasure could make this game. <laughs> <laughs> that thing with the striped stomach, though, does look like it could be like a McDonald's type character. Did, yeah. Did this, game come, did this come out after Gunstar Heroes? It actually... Um, it came out like this... It's it's weird. Like This, this game, I believe, came out... Um, <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to focus on this boss. It came out the... Oh, we did it. We, we won. Um, it came out oh. the same year as Gunstar Heroes, but, like, slightly before. Like, this is actually Treasure's first wow. game. <laughs> Weirdly enough. Wow, that's odd. So they went... McDonald's contacted a company that hadn't made a game oh, before. Oh, man, well, hold on a second. Look at Ronald McDonald's butt in that. You see <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Dang. Ronald's all caked up. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's a little bottom heavy. Hey, it fits the piece I have perfectly. Hmm, I what wonder... is ripped though? How did he put it back together? I don't know. So, Ronald got the second it. part of the map and continued his adventure. Oh, we're on a train now. To be continued. Oh, wait, no. Stage two Magical Town. Start. The Magical Forest and Magical Town. Yep. This is a I silly little train. See a, see a trend in these names. Oh, I wonder, did you did you obtain this game normally, or did you get it from like a Happy Meal or something? <laughs> no, this was a game you bought in retail stores. Oh, huh. It's not very long though to buy in retail. Yeah. I'm I'm sorry. What? It's not a very long game though, right? Right. Uh, I mean, not all games at the time were. Gumstar Heroes, but 
It'd be probably longer than an hour to beat. Mm, if you play the easy mode, it's not not too long. <laughs> Treasure Treasure's games were pretty short, and that's something that they tried to fix with like um, Dynamite Heady and uh, what's, what's that other one called? I can never remember what it's called. Uh, the weird isometric game. A it's like an Alien something. No, Alien Soldier. That's that came later. I'm trying to remember what the other one was oh. called. Um, I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter. We we're we're, we're trucking along here. Oops. Oh, Mercedes sent you off the edge. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna rewind because I need those balloons. Well, it's almost as if you have the rewind function. The balloons don't matter. <laughs> uh, trust me. At the end of the game, we'll need the balloons. <laughs> It gets uh, it gets pretty trick it gets kind of tricky at the end. Oh, it baited you with that crystal. <laughs> There's some balloons down there. Um, but yeah, it's so strange. There there was a lot of McDonald's games, wasn't there? Uh, was there? Yeah, there was uh this game. Obviously, there was um was it Mick Kids on the NES? Oh, that game had the really funny walk cycles. Yeah, and then there was there was another Genesis McDonald's game, um, but it was kind of it was kind of like a stealth McDonald's game. Like like I don't think it had it McDonald's was... in the title. Oh, oh, oh! I thought you were talking about like it was literally like a stealth like sneaking game. Like it was the McDonald's equivalent of Sneak King. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I guess you have to use your balloons to get that right there. It's kind of strange. Goal. Has anybody ever even played any of the Burger King games? I haven't. I've, King? I've only seen some gameplay of Sneak King. I haven't seen any of the other ones. They got like that. They got a cart game, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, there it's was like mini bikes or something. Yeah. The little tiny motorcycles. But who, who are the other characters besides Burger King? I think they were just original characters. Ooh, danger. It would be fun to be on the team that has to make up <laughs> characters for a Burger <laughs> King game. Also, oh, okay, here we go. 2,000 gold to play game. Do you want to play? Yes. Oh, wait. I pressed the wrong button. Do you want to play? <laughs> yes. All right. So this is, this is the no. game. Uh, huh. It's a it's a puzzle game. It's kind of weird. So if you line up three icons in a row, you'll get the item. Um, okay. But the problem is, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different icons. So um, it's it's very difficult to you know get them all lined up just yeah, right and if you anything. yeah and if you line up three of the skulls then you're done for so well, let's see let's get this over here okay what are perfect. you going for so the um let's let's line up star. yeah let's line up three of the m's here Try to line up some Ronalds there. Um, like I said, the balloons are the things that I would suggest going for. Dangerously but, close to getting three <laughs> skulls in multiple areas. Yes. Um, so, anyway, I don't think, I don't know why I did that. So I was really perplexed whenever I ran across this part. <laughs> it's just, it, it's just like it comes out of nowhere. I'm, uh, well, yeah, I, I guess so. <laughs> it's just <laughs> never saw it coming. It's just such a, it's just so slow. Mm -hmm. well, just suddenly you're up. in this and you're in it for a while. <laughs> Yeah, I think, um, 
I don't think there's much we can do. Um, oh, we lined up three of the oh, skulls, but it didn't seem like it did anything. Weird. I guess the skulls only um, prevent no progress. You don't actually have to line them up. Huh. Okay, so that's, it's just a good way to get more um, power-ups. That's nice, at least. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, they pulled a trick on us there. Whoa! What is going on? Classic McDonald's <laughs> evil trick. I want to go back. Oh. Ma'am, please. Oh, she hurt me. Don't okay. Me well down. I kept pressing the button to jump and like it, did, it wasn't doing anything. <laughs> Her grip was too strong. Exactly. Uh, can I go down this way and over here? Yeah, this this game has a lot of just random maze segments. Oh, hey, here's another friend. Help me, Ronald. Hey, I've been kidnapped by a wicked circus owner. She's actually talking this time, unlike Hamburglar. Yeah, is it canon that Hamburglar doesn't have a voice or something? I don't remember that. I don't, yeah, I don't no. think Hamburglar ever talks. Besides, he, he says, says Robble, Robble. Robble. Yeah, huh. Okay, so we helped uh, Birdie there. Ever since the accident. Didn't you? <laughs> In the Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald, he talks. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Hamburger. Ham, excuse me. Hamburglar does talk in that uh, show. Oh, uh, that's not much reaction. Uh, you just basically have to duck every once in a while. This is, this is kind of weirdly dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, game. Uh, I guess you're in the deepest part of the tunnel now. <laughs> hey, what's happening? Okay. Oh, hello. I like how classical they, music they is playing. They're yeah, they're going fast. Really fast. Man. Holy. This is this is absurd. Um This is goofy. Yeah, I, I do wonder is. how did how did Treasure get the license to us? So yeah, I don't know. I, I imagine maybe they're like, okay, this is our first game. We need money. Like how <laughs> how can we get money? I'm gonna rewind. Oh. And so they're uh, yeah, they're like, seems... no, this this explains Mill and Bread a lot actually. <laughs> yeah, Mill and Bread developed unfortunately... this game alongside. Mountain Bread, unfortunately, is not in this game as far as I'm aware. Oh. This is a long train. <laughs> yeah. And this is supposed like... to be a town? <laughs> this oh, it's is a magical cool. town. Uh-oh, who's this guy? Whoa! Whoa. It's Marty McFly. I saw like a in Five Nights form. at Freddy's character. Okay, we're just gonna hang out with him now. Oh, we're cool. Need oh, a rough muff a little. <laughs> that was oh, why is that Ronald was... flying oh. or falling faster than the guy? All right, don't save him. Oh, he died. Woo, that was close. Next time, be more careful. Good luck, Ronald. I, I didn't know who was talking. Oh, uh, yeah, you didn't put on your birdie impression. Really. <laughs> I guess, I guess that guy died. <laughs> yeah. <There's, see. laughs> that little car was funny. See, McDonald's teaching us early the importance of getting to know people before they're gone. <laughs> uh, what is this car doing? I don't know. I don't know even... what's going on exactly. This is just absurd. The car is just minding its own business. Oh, I destroyed the car there for some Does reason. Does the car have feet? That's what it looks 
one? I think it just has goofy, like, cartoon yeah. tires where they get... Oh no, it does turn on its side. Like, the wheels turn on their sides and it walks with them. That's the music weird. here is pretty good, I have to say. As a side note. <laughs> so it seems like you can only hurt the cars whenever they're walking. <laughs> Not something I would ex expect to say while playing a McDonald's game. Can we get more balloons? That sounds like some... some... Okay. Like some funky dropping... Toe Jam and Earl music. Huh. Someone was dropping bricks out that window out there. Yeah, that's not safe. What the oh, heck? Oh, lady. I don't that's think that's a lady. lady. <laughs> it's a very odd looking man. Um... Yeah, I, I don't know. This game, the development is so strange. And there was actually an Easter egg discovered in this game like two or three months ago. Like just recently. Wait, um, there's a password screen in this game. And if you put in a special password, um, you actually get access to a 3D model viewer that Treasure was using on the Genesis. It's... Just, Wait, what? Yeah, I, maybe I can show that whenever we finish the game. Um, but anyway, we're trying to reach the top of this uh, building here, and these guys are giving us some trouble. The sumo wrestlers are bending this building to their will. Which I have to say is pretty cool uh, as an effect for a Genesis game. Yeah. Uh-oh, we got another boss. Okay, so as we're about to see in a moment, um, all the bosses in this game essentially have that same uh, kind of thing that you have to do. You have to let them take away a life, which is kind of weird, and then you can shoot, start shooting them. That's weird. Yeah, you have to, in order to, uh, to proceed, you have to, you know, give a little. Yeah, you gotta give a little to take a little. Exactly. This game's all about uh, teaching kids those life lessons. Equivalent exchange. Like, I really wonder if that was, if that, if like they're, they really are trying to make like a lesson of that. There we go. Anytime oh. you see oh. these big stars, that There's means you Yoda. win. The whole yeah. time. Baby Yoda. <laughs> Right, what is Baby Yoda actually called? Gooby? I don't know. Or something? Gruk or something? Gruk? Groot? No, it's not Groot. <laughs> something else is the G. Please though. stop crying. Please stop crying. Please. Stop crying. Period. Come on, I've got something that will cheer you up. Oh, wow, for me? Really? Gee, thanks, Ronald. Wait, this ain't a kid. It's like a grown-ass goblin. <laughs> the kid just farts. Oh, wait, no, that's a piece of paper. Hey, little <laughs> fella, you dropped something. Oh, <laughs> you just gave that tiny goblin child part of his life force. Well, what do you know? It's another piece of the map. Let's see now. How can I get to this island? I know. With his map almost complete, Ronald hops on a balloon and sets sail for Magical Sea. I like to think like the narrator is really has like a really deep voice. I don't know why. <clears throat> so, oh, you can jump on the clouds. Like it, I was confused. I was like, "Where am I supposed to go?" <laughs> I didn't see the clouds. I, I didn't I didn't read them at first either. And so oh. the run. So this is this I like is, that thing's face. Wow. Yeah, this is where you need the balloons he, because he like grabbed the bottom of the cloud and he's like, "Oh, dang it!" <laughs> dang it! I'm really struggling here. Kinda have to jump back and forth between the clouds. Yeah, this seems sort of yeah. unforgiving. Yeah, why is this? Oh, I'm gonna go back. Green waited, waiting on the camera the whole time. Wouldn't it be hard enough if it was just moving with Ronald? <laughs> exactly. Uh oh, that guy's tearing through our boat. This game has a lot of character 
Um, yeah. It's it's pretty nice. It's like I said, for a licensed game, it's not too bad. Those guys definitely do these these guys with the big grins. They definitely do have that McDonald's look to them. Yeah, if there was some, if there was like an evil Happy Meal, that's what that would be. <laughs> exactly, a sad meal. Oh! <laughs> oh Put God. your hands up! <laughs> Oh, whoa, we're going all the way to the- Oh, there's the Flying Dutchman. <laughs> I like how we're killing penguins now. Um, so this- Ugh, It looks so sad when you damage them. Yeah, uh, so this is kind of weird because we went to the left to reach the goal. And I don't think you do that here. I think you have to go to the right, which is really annoying because there's these waves that keep hitting you over and over and over again. Trying yeah. to get past them. Man, why are the penguins... They look so sad when you hit them, but... They look so happy. Like, look at him, he's waving at you. <laughs> they don't look bad, is the thing. Yeah. You just look like you're torturing animals. They, they don't even hit you, I think. You can walk right in front of them. No, they do hit you. Well, if you hit him first... It's a doggy dog... See, look. <laughs> Let's get out of there. Uh, yikes. All right. No comment. This guy. <laughs> this guy's going to give us a big smooch. Oh, man. It, it is totally a guy. Is it a guy? You. I'm really assuming it's a guy because of how fat he is, but... That was it. That was, that was all of that oh, screen. That was it. <laughs> oh. That was a hard fight. Hmm. Okay, I guess we gotta go this way. It's funny, that method of transportation right here, the the uh, flinging yourself upwards with this um, magic, whatever they call it. I, I can't even, I'm, my mind is going blank. Um, it feels very similar to Dynamite Hedy's uh, um, flinging upward move. Huh. I, don't, I don't know what I'm saying. I kind of get this sort of just that momentum. Right, yeah, yeah. Dude, where's the uh, ghost block whenever you need it? Okay, so it looks like if you do more than three in a row, you you actually yeah you, you get like more, the, get a bonus. bonus. I like how these these segments, yeah, they're they're pretty jarring, but they're like it's kind of fast. You know what I mean? Like you're not here forever. Seems like you're here forever. I guess if you're, uh, whenever you're playing, it doesn't feel like that. <laughs> I'll say it that way. This game's just making me hungry. <laughs> it's working, succeeding in its mission. <laughs> it, yeah, it's kind of weird because, like I said, this game doesn't really have any McDonald's food in it. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, yeah, you'd expect those to be, like, the health or the power-ups or something. Maybe at that point they were conscious enough to try to be like, let's not pretend that our food is healthy. <laughs> yeah, I, I imagine they're like, okay, a video game's already enough for our brand. Let's just... Is there any sort let's of just stay the there. <laughs> I was wondering if maybe the FDA prevents you from treating... Of fast food as like healthy or something to kids. I mean, I don't think us. there's any at this time. I don't think there was any marketing guidelines in place for something like that. Um, I could be wrong though. Maybe there was just some foresight. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I can imagine people were just kind of like. 
like, let's not. <laughs> you know. Yeah. <clears throat> let's not kid ourselves. Let's see, should I go Ooh. left or right? Oh, that's hard. This seems like a level that would be really frustrating. <laughs> so yeah, what are one, the... This will make me go to BK for the rest of my life. <laughs> what is the, the the orange flowers and the white flowers? Okay, so I, I I I mentioned these earlier, but maybe I didn't describe it very well. So do you see on the bottom of the screen how there's various flowers? Yeah, the, the orange ones are the two, right? Yes, yeah. So oh, basically, like, do do? basically, whenever you get two of those, um, then you get uh, a gem, a piece of health. Oh. And if you get three of the white flowers, then you get a piece of health. I don't know why okay. they split them up like that. Also, where am I supposed to yeah, go? It's... Oh, up here. It's odd. Is that like a kissy lip on the flag? Oh, somebody's oh, shooting yeah, at us. Just... Oh, this man. Is the... The guy who's a big mouth. Ow. This is his boat. I see. It all it all makes sense now. The lore is all coming together. <laughs> I wonder how this looked on a CRT. Already pretty I don't great. Know. That you know that that look of putting all those. On in. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so this this actually is a maze. This is like, there's a whole bunch of different ways you can go. Um, we're just going to keep walking through doors and hope we make it through. <laughs> um, oh, Donkey Kong do isn't up here. Oh, dang. Ooh. Music on this level is pretty good, too. Oh, wait, I actually, I gotta go back. Who was that? Some some guy just in his boxers? Just, looks like uh, Tucker from Toe Jam and Earl. There he is. <laughs> oh, he mooned you right there. The last second. Uh, right is that before what that was? Killed him. He got the last uh, laugh. Yeah. Yep. But anyway, like I was saying, some of the sound effects they reuse in some of their other games, which is kind of weird. I don't understand the legality of that. Um, but yeah, like hitting those little night guys, it makes the same sound effect as whenever Dynamite Hetty gets hit. Huh. Can we back in this room? Well, well, we might as well just use the sound effects we already have. Well, that's the thing. That's kind of the issue with this. It's like, what is, like, legally can you do that? Because McDonald's is paying you to make a game, you know, like... Do you really want to reuse <laughs> stuff? Oh. Right? You know what? You know, you know what I'm trying to say. Oh, I, I the sound they're gonna use, like the sound of like fries the hitting the fire. Of it. I understand it from an ethics standpoint, where you're like, you probably don't want to reuse something that you or somebody else paid you to make. Mm -hmm. But like, would do you think McDonald's is really gonna be like? Hey, you used the in Dynamite Heady. You used a sound effect you used from our game <laughs> that you made. <laughs> like I feel like they wouldn't ever know or care. I mean, I want yeah. I just I just wonder if if Dynamite Heady was like a popular game, if that would be, you know, like different. But I don't. I don't. I don't know. I basically my recommendation is if somebody, if a company, a big company like McDonald's is paying you to make sound effects, I would recommend not using it in other projects. That's that's all I'm saying. Also, uh, McDonald's, uh, you're you're welcome for this free advertising that we're doing right now. Uh, duh, gee, Ronald, I'm so tired, I can barely move. Do ya think you could give me a couple of jewels? Yes. He feels a lot better. The captain went through this door. He's got a piece of the map. Good luck. And Grimace, you're just... We just paid him to move? 
We paid him to move, and, they, and then he died in the water, I think. Oh, man. I thought it was, it was funny that they gave him, a, like, a full walk cycle that he used for, like, a total of three frames. <laughs> oh, this is annoying. I want to get through here. Oh, that fire still up? Uh, I'm not going to go down there. <laughs> it's going to keep going to the right. So there's got to be good stuff at the end of this, right? Wow, does this I slow you down so. that much? It does. Um, do we want to go this way? Ooh. Danger. Oh, the barrels follow. Man, there's all sorts of things here that just absolutely wants to kill Ronald McDonald. Those those drop fast. Yeah. Why is there so many chandeliers that are just breaking on this ship? You sail for long enough, you're gonna lose a chandelier or two. <laughs> oh no, that's like a what is it? Uh, mimic. Mimic, mimic. Yes. Okay, we're just kind of randomly thought, going through here. Who would have thought in the McDonald's lore that mimics would exist? I mean, it feels it, it feels like that would be a thing. That's trying to steal hamburgers and stuff. Like like a a false Happy Meal box. <laughs> okay, what is going on here? I don't remember this. <laughs> uh... China, you want to put up a fight? It's the Our Dracula friend. Knight robot. Okay. And oh, okay. Like, oh, kind of sucked at what he, he did. Just had to intimidate him <laughs> to killing himself. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, here's the boss, the uh, big mouth boy. I want to get up there. Take my jewel. Oh, wait, no. Let me go back. Okay, hold I don't on. Like, I don't like how every one of the bosses has that... the big puke laser that they do. <laughs> oh, he's got eyes under he's... the hat. Ooh, I don't like that. Is this is me this is Captain Melonbread? <laughs> so, would you say that this all the bosses in this game are original? Would you say that they did a good job with the bosses making them feel like McDonald's characters? Feel like McDonald's Ew. characters? I don't know if I'd say that. I think they're fun, but I don't know if I'd say they're like McDonald's. Seem more like treasure World. characters. Yeah. No, no, please, I give up. Here, take this. It's part of a treasure map I found. Aha, uh -huh, this must be uh, the Donald, last don't piece. Don't accept it. Just go ahead and shoot him. <laughs> shoot him with what? <laughs> He's been pulling out the M's. He's got a gang sign. Look at mm. Ronald's packing an AK under there. I, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> yes, a perfect fit. But where's the treasure? The that's, funny grimace. That's how treasure maps work. Why, this isn't Earth. It's a moon. It looked like Earth. How are we ever going to get there? Hey, I've got an idea. Let's go ask the professor. Grimace is funny, but Birdie looks particularly brain dead in that. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's clear that they traced over, like, official materials. Yeah. The professor's house. What? Treasure on the moon? Of course, I can help you. Who's this guy? I'll make you a rocket ship. You'll be there in no time. I believe he's a he's an actual McDonald's character. Is he? Yeah, That's I think McDonald. so. Yeah. No, he was just known as the professor. 
I like how Hamburglar. Oh, yeah, there's the Fry Kids. We didn't even see them. I don't wow. really have a Fry Kid, like a Fry Kid toy. You don't? I, not that I'm Everybody aware of. Does. Everybody has a Fry <laughs> Kid toy. I know I have a McNugget toy. Yeah, you do still have the McNugget. <laughs> This is so weird. We're on a rocket ship to the moon. The G, Ronald, a crash landing. Now, how are we going to get home? Don't tell me we're going to be stuck on this moon forever. Come on, everybody. Yes, Cheer up. There's got to be kid. something we can do here. Why don't we all split up and look for someone to help us fix the ship? Mm, the last world, magical moon. Oh my goodness, that background. There's a lot going on right here. Pressure background. <laughs> what? What was that? It is a treasure background. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're just trying to uh, they're just trying to impress people with their wizard grief. Yeah, so you have low gravity here. Yes. Yep, you can jump higher. Um Definitely makes it easier to run into random things. I guess this is like an asteroid belt or something. I don't know what's going on. So does the high jump make it easier or harder to move around? It makes it... Uh, it's it's easier, but because it's easier, you, you just want to move quicker, <laughs> if that makes sense. So yes. you make more mistakes. Oh, these guys hurt you. There's so much here that I can't tell because of the background. <laughs> I can't it is determine what's going on. <laughs> what the heck is that guy? What is that? flying across the screen every now and then. I'm guessing that doesn't hit you. Nope. I mean, maybe. I feel like there's this game has a lot of things that just kind of like you see once. You know, like, they put a lot of effort towards, and it's like, you, you didn't really need to. <laughs> You're just making my Unless... dice game. You guys didn't have to go this hard. <laughs> they reused it in another game, maybe. Is that a ship in the background? Oh, okay. There? I guess this is a boss fight or something. Oh. This is definitely a treasure fight. Yeah. <laughs> if you can call this a fight, um, I think we just have to survive. It's not a fight, it's a massacre. <laughs> Music is pleasant. Oh, I'm actually gonna reverse. So I wonder what like magazines and stuff said about this game back in the day. Like they they had to have been like I don't know. I can only imagine reviewers back in the day probably didn't like this game. Like even though it's it's a decent game, just just attaching it to the McDonald's IP is gonna make people unhappy, you know? I mean I'm sure a lot of them are probably like it's a decent game, but like I don't really see what it has to do with McDonald's. <laughs> There's no way this new treasure game developer will survive this blunder. <laughs> uh oh, you'll have the grabby hands get you. Yeah. Oh, okay, so we're in the ship. This is like the last part of the game. And it's also the most annoying part of the game. Um... There's a lot of like walls and stuff here that look like you shouldn't be able to go past, but you can. Uh, let me go in here. Can I get some more um, uh, balloons? I almost said umbrellas. Need more balloons. Uh, yeah, I w like I do wonder like. Why, why McDonald's thought, like, our brand really needed this, you know, <laughs> like, 
a lot of money. Like we need, we need this. We need to advertise more to kids. I don't know. It's kind of weird. No, no, no. Imagine McDonald's wasn't that. Po they're probably just as popular as every other fast food chain, and then something happened where they took off. Well, is this game came out? That's what caused it. <laughs> this game is what is what really boosted the popularity of McDonald's. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what is this? What the heck? Seems weird. Oh, he seems kind of excited. <laughs> All right. I think you're assaulting this thing. Are you are you allowed to do that? Do we need to sense of the stream? Might have to. I might have to put a black bar over this part. Okay, um, so they blow up if they run into the ceiling. <laughs> like he's about to blow up any second. That's what it looks like. Oh. Let me just go in here. Oh, this is another puzzle game. I'm not going to do any more of those. <laughs> <laughs> Give up. Okay, so this is kind of weird because you have to wait for him to spawn just right. So you can rise all the way up. Just like us gamers. Absolutely. Oh, oop. Oh? Uh, oh, I thought we had to go up here. Is there somewhere else we need to go? To the left? Maybe? Oh. So you have to be low for them to even spawn? Mm. Let's see. Oh, here it comes one. Now oh, they just take forever, I guess. Yeah. And thank goodness we have rewind. <laughs> it's a very small window it to is. grab that. There we go, we got it. I was I damage boosted for those balloons. Definitely worth it. Yeah, the balloons seem like a pretty helpful resource. So, so I'm guessing there are other power-ups, but I don't really know what they do. Um, not really. That, that's basically it. Uh, there's like oh. the magic. There's, I guess that's what you would call magic. Um, I don't know what that does. I don't, I'm actually. I've never been able to initiate it. I don't even know how you do it. <laughs> ah. If, if I press pause, can I do anything? No, I don't. I don't. I don't know. What the heck. Okay, so this is, if I'm remembering right, this is like the last main room in the game. Um, and this is where you want to use all your balloons. Okay, um, let's go up here. Oh, these platforms. I totally forgot about these. So these these uh, things spin around and they're a pain because um, we need to go to over to the right. I believe straight down is just a pit. Yeah, let me just let me just fly up here. You can see you can see why I said the balloons are so good. Hmm. Yeah. It seems like they make this part of the level pretty easy. I'm actually gonna go back. Hold on. Rewind. We're gonna, we're gonna use our resources better. Up here and then down. There we go. There it is. Okay, I was wow. I was wrong about the last area of being. If this was end. ADDQ, everybody be clapping right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that part was really hard. Oh. Everybody claps. You guys don't know it, but that part is really hard. That was really difficult. Oh, he's gonna do a that maneuver was frame here. Perfect. We're gonna call it the triple patty slam. You guys are too basic to understand it, but that was really hard. Huh. 
Reminds me, I didn't actually watch the DQ Summer Games Done Quick. Yeah, I, I didn't watch it either. Yeah, I, I've. I feel like I said this before, but at some point, you see everything that you you want to see, and it's like, okay, I don't need to see it again. <laughs> and and since all of their marathons are just like repeats, you know, like it's it, they they don't really add newer games to their catalog, you know. So, well, they do the Taz stuff, which is kind of interesting. Watching how a computer would true, play the game true. perfectly. But I mean, that's something that's something that you don't really need to see live, you know, <laughs> like yeah. you can just look it up anytime. As I see, my biggest thing with it is that it's like it's always feels like it's on at an inconvenient time. <laughs> so, OK, so we, we have so to be I on this. We oh. have to be on this platform. Too. Wow, this is hard. Yeah. So it gives you like barely any time to jump and react. Exactly. Yeah, you basically have to, as soon as you see it, you have to jump. Who are you? Wait a minute. You're that Ronald clown, aren't you? If you hey, want. You can't just call him. Oh, that's. <laughs> if you want to see your friends again, you'll have to give me these jewels. Sure. We'll give them the jewels. Get out of here, dude. So these are the famous magic why you, jewels. Why would you give this dude your jewels? <laughs> yummy, yummy. They sparkle in my tummy. Oh, he feels sleepy. <laughs> okay, fry like kids, get you away. Eat McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. And also thanks, Nick, for uh, banning that person. The oh, there's melon are... bread. Here's some melon oh. bread. No, actually, that's not melon bread. That's um, oh, that's the guy from Diamond Heady. I can't think of his name. Oh, he's died. Oh, is he? Oh, wow. Did too much damage. Ronald can't take it. <laughs> Overheat. Oh. Ronald, if you they're can't making take like the actual heat, stay out of the minimum wage kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're making like actual. Like noises, like sound bites. I don't know what they're saying. Every though. time they bounce, they're making a noise. Yeah. Why is he getting closer? That was you just like a laugh. I don't like this thing. It looks like a <laughs> horror monster. Whoa! Oh, speaking of that giant mouth you walked into. <laughs> oh, now we're playing Hotel Mario. <laughs> yeah, basically, this is pretty close to that, actually. Huh. Funny, just the the image of Ramadan walking out of a door and just looks like you're just punching a thing in the head. <laughs> <laughs> so you can kind of see what you're trying to do here. You have to make him eat the gym and then, you know, run through the door, the correct door. But it's hard to dodge. It is hard to dodge. I guess you just gotta, like, duck at the right spot. That's not helpful. I guess he needs to be further down. Yes. They just don't want to program him to shoot down. <laughs> okay, come on, give me a give me a nice suck. <laughs> that, that didn't sound right. Easy there. There we go. We got him. I think that's it. That, that there might be more. I can't remember. <laughs> Seems weird for the final boss. We, we defeated the aliens. Stop, stop. You won. Look how happy he is to defeat that little guy. Go ahead. Take the treasure. You beat me. So now it's yours. Oh, poor little fella. We don't want your treasure. All we want is to go home. <laughs> our ship is All broken. All we want is your blood to power our ship. <laughs> 
<laughs> ah, leave it to me. Oh, is this what it is? It takes us back home. This game is basically a, an equivalent of like one of those home is where the heart is signs or something. Yeah. <laughs> Live, laugh, love. <laughs> exactly. You feel oh, the, only the a month power too, of... too late. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel the power of McDonald's coursing through your veins? Yes. It's very powerful. Whoa, that is psychedelic. <laughs> Birdie's really big there. No. <laughs> this is so like prolonged. <laughs> Why is the hamburger like sliding on his stomach? And so ends another fun adventure for Ronald and his friends. And there we go. That is Ronald McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure. Wow. It was a little over an hour long. Huh. Um, so I would imagine people, after they finish this, they're probably upset. <laughs> Yeah. About as much time as it takes to eat a happy meal play through the game. <laughs> right. Actually, it does hit. I don't know who takes an hour to eat a happy meal, but... We get to now look back at all these super memorable moments. You know what? They should have had Sega Genesis in the play areas instead of N64. <laughs> I kind of wonder if that was what they were kind of going for with this game was maybe this is something that you would play in the actual restaurants. Yeah, but did they ever have... I think I remember they had, like, Super NES, but did they ever have Genesis? I have no idea. Also, they only let you play them for, like, 30 minutes before they reset <laughs> automatically, so that wouldn't even be enough to beat this game. <laughs> True. Uh, so um, like yeah, yeah, I, you know, the, the more I think about it, playing this game inside an actual McDonald's, that does make a lot more sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But something must have happened because it never happened, I guess. I mean, we don't know for sure. Maybe certain locations did have this game. Seems like before our generation, maybe they would have these in stores. Yeah, maybe so. This came out in 1993. Um, so yeah. it's... It, who is that? What is that thing? Oh. I don't know. The he heck? was really sad that you destroyed his shield. Though. <laughs> he got destroyed, whatever it was. You got some special things here. At the end of this, McDonald's is, or Ronald McDonald is going to take a big bite of a hamburger and say, this is the greatest dinner I've ever had in my life. Make sure to get a McFlurry. Maybe the the end the end boss reward should have been like a coupon for a McFlurry or something. <laughs> I don't remember that thing either. Oh, like, thank you. We just, do we play the same game? <laughs> <laughs> thank you for playing. Hey, wait, wait! I don't remember those blocks. <laughs> wait, it's just straight up Sonic Two blocks. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Presented by McDonald's. Imagine Sega probably just all of their games are just sharing assets. Like there's probably little bits of the background that's shared with all their other games we just don't know about. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Treasure was really proud about this part. They're like, we, we got to make sure that that appears during our name. See you. Who is the captain guy? The Captain Crunch esque man? Who is that? I don't know. He didn't show up anywhere. All right. Well, I don't know the password to that 3D model viewer. I would just recommend looking it up online. It's really weird. Um, nonetheless, thank you, Mitchell. Thank you, Nick, for um, joining me. And uh, uh -huh. we'll uh, see everybody next time.
Bye. Bye.